Hi guys, hope you've been enjoying the channel. We're gonna play with x-rays again and babies. We got babies, we've had a lot of babies lately. Um, so, here's an x-ray of babies. Uh, if I recall, this patient is around day 55. So the general gestation of a canine is gonna be about day 63, 64. So what that means is the patient got bred and 63, 64 days later is when baby should be popping out. If you know the actual date and you get past that a couple days, that is a problem and you need to be seen. Uh, where I do run into some issues with clients is they have a range of dates and they don't know exactly when. And that's okay, that's realistic, but we just, everybody's gotta understand if you don't know the exact day, that's when the 63, 64 day gestation period starts. And like I said, realistically, I have clients where they're like, a stray dog jumped the fence and I caught it mounting my dog and I've caught him twice now. I don't know if it's the first or the eighth. We do the best we can then. Or AIs, um, we tend to do AIs on day 9, 11, and 13. Some other clinics will do them on 10, 12, and 14, or some other repro clinics, um, at least the one I'm referring to in Utah. So ultimately, there's a range. Lots, sometimes we don't know exactly when. You just throw them back there for the day and you go check on them later. <laughs> you know, you don't know. So here's babies. They need to be past 45 days on X, for us to be able to see them on x-rays. Now we can tell a patient is pregnant on ultrasound much sooner, but we cannot count them on ultrasound accurately or accurately and consistently. Uh, there are also pregnancy tests that we can use to identify this earlier. But as far as counting for my brachiocephalic breeds, so my bulldogs, my Frenchies, my pugs, if you are selling the puppies, a lot of times you're trying to get deposits before they're born, or a lot of breeders are, and they're trying to get a general idea on how many puppies can they sell or not sell. Um, another factor that's really important for taking x-rays if you are not breeding intentionally or it's this accidental pregnancy is you kind of need to know if you have a problem or not. So say you have nine puppies in your golden retriever and she has five, you kind of need to know you're missing four and there's a few more in there that's when you need to touch base with a veterinarian and say, hey, it's been anything past two hours when you know you have more puppies is an emergency and you need to be seen by your veterinarian and be ready for a C-section. Um, every doctor will go through things a little different. We'll usually try some injections and go from there. If we're a day or so out and you're supposed to have more, that puppy that got stuck, and I'm assuming they got stuck, is probably dead, realistically. And you're trying to save the other puppies and mom because you don't want to keep a rotting fetus inside there when you have more puppies behind that one that will only get more complicated and not good so those are some reasons why x-rays are important for your fur babies um, on this particular one hopefully you can see it well i've tried to zoom in a little bit on x-rays with Babies, when they're old enough, what we're generally trying to count are skulls, and if you can, vertebrae. So, step back a little bit. This is one skull, here's two skulls, here's three skulls, four skulls, five skulls. The other one is you can count the spinal columns. Sometimes you can't see everything very well, sometimes they line up. Sometimes on x-rays, you can only see six and they pop out nine. That happens. Uh, we try and minimize that, but diagnostics aren't perfect in any realm and there's always exceptions, but x-rays give you a minimum number to expect. And that's what you gotta know. So as far as the spinal columns go, another easy way to identify those is rib cages. Um, Here's one spinal column and you can see the ribs. 
Here's a second one coming down this way and you can see the ribs. So this puppy head, spine goes this way. There's a pelvis for that same puppy. Here's the puppy two head and his spinal column is going this way and his legs are over here. So they're sitting right on top of each other. Um, here's another spinal column. Here's another one. So back one, two, three. That's going to that one. Here's four for this one. And five right here going to this puppy skull. And you always take more than one view because they hide. And sometimes you can see them better on certain views than other views, depending on how fat the patient is, how many puppies, size of the patient. There's a lot of variables that make it easier or more difficult to clearly see them on x-rays. So on that first lateral, we could clearly see five. On this VD view, it is not easy to see all five. Here is one skull. Here is two skulls. Here is three skulls. And because here's skull number four. Five is actually right here. But man, that is hard to see. And you have the stomach and stomach contents and throw some poop in there. And that one's really hard to see. The only real reason I can see it is because I can see the spinal column right here. This one might be a little hard to see on the camera as opposed to in person. But spinal column one, spinal column two, spinal column three, spinal column four, and five is hidden kind of up in this one. I can see what I think is it, but I can't clearly see it real well. So on the VD, I can actually see four very clearly, five with fudge in a little bit. Also, because I'm biased, because on the lateral, I can clearly see five. Here is the opposite side and the op opposite lateral. So on this one, once again, I'll start with skulls and then go back to the other. Here is skull one, here is skull two, skull three, skull four, and appears to be skull five. This one over here, I, as far as the spinal columns go, I'm not actually sure if it's a sixth puppy. I can't tell if it's hiding in there or if this skull is attached to it or if it's the inverse. So I believe on this client, I said, expect a minimum of five. You may get a bonus and you may actually have six, but I cannot clearly see it on all of my x-ray views. So medicine, it's a little gray. It's always with a little bit of gray, little grain of salt, but hopefully that gives you guys a little insight and something a little interesting that you might not get to see all the time. And that's kind of what you're looking for if you, you ever get a pregnant bee. And if you see the x-ray, that's what you're trying to see, guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed seeing some puppies. And take care, guys. We'll catch up later. <laughs>